If you played Magic in 2019, you definitely dreamed about this guy. The deck we're looking at today, Hogak Bridgevine, was so powerful that it made a lot of the archetypes at the time obsolete. If you even wanted to think of standing a chance against this deck, you needed to play 8 or more copies of cards specifically designed to counter it in your main deck, otherwise you just stood no chance. And half the time, even that wasn't enough. The deck used the namesake card Hogak of Risen Necropolis alongside tons of ways to get cards into the graveyard like Faithless Looting, which lets you draw 2 cards and discard 2 cards, Insolent Neonate, which lets you discard a card and draw a card, like Faithless Looting but in many creature form, Altar of Dementia, which lets you sacrifice a creature and have any player, including yourself, mill cards equal to that creature's power, and Stitcher Supplier, which, when it enters the battlefield or dies, lets you mill three cards. This paired perfectly with Hogak's absolutely busted effect, which let you cast it from the graveyard and use creatures you control as well as exiling any amount of cards from your graveyard to pay for its cost. Alongside powerhouse cards like Vengevine that come back from the graveyard when you cast two spells on a turn and bridge from below, which gives you a 2 2 zombie every time a creature you control dies, the deck was incredibly consistent and basically unstoppable until multiple main pieces of the deck were emergency banned and are still banned to this day.